The U.S. unemployment rate has reached 3.9 percent, which is the lowest level since December 2000, the same month that Al Gore conceded the presidency to George W. Bush and quarterback Drew Bledsoe led the New England Patriots to a 5-11 record as rookie Tom Brady watched from the sidelines. Article 1, Section 9, Clause 8 of the U.S. Constitution prohibits the federal government from bestowing titles of nobility. The founders had just fought a revolution to escape one king and they didn't want any royal hierarchies taking root in their brand new representative democracy, thank you very much. The continuing dichotomy of peace and violence speaks to something. At least one liberal celebrity is willing to seek out common ground with the Trump administration, and her efforts appear to be paying off. It's popular now for members of the press to see Russian meddling everywhere, especially after President Trump surprised practically everyone in media by actually winning the 2016 election. This year, we have more than usual to celebrate during Small Business Week. That's because we now have a tax code that supports small businesses' owners and employees, instead of one that takes an unfair amount of their hard-earned money. With the new code enacted last December, we are promoting entrepreneurship through a fairer and simpler tax system. If Don Blankenship were a performing artist and his candidacy an ongoing criticism of the current tribal state of politics, his latest ad would be sublime. Just resign, President Trump. Just resign. President Trump met with top administration officials Thursday to discuss election security and efforts to protect against foreign influence, the White House said. The House Subcommittee on Health, Employment, Labor, and Pensions recently held a hearing on modernizing federal labor law. Here's an easy first step, close the worker center loophole. On Friday, the hashtag comes to life on May 4th, aka. The franchise is so popular for its mix between enduring relevance and magical escapism. Despite Lucas's intent to comment on the Vietnam War, American imperialism, and the counterculture of the post-war era, Star Wars rocketed to success as an optimistic voyage through space at a time when audiences were longing to disconnect from the chaos of the times. We rolled our eyes last summer when foreign policy elites declared the end of American global leadership and a new isolationism after President Trump and the U.S. announced withdrawal from the Paris Climate Accords. Looking back on that freakout is still good for a laugh. The drive to have a better government is a threat to those who just want a bigger government. Whether you believe special counsel Robert Mueller's job is in danger or not, the country's need for an insurance policy to protect the independence of special counsel investigations has become apparent. NBC News screwed up in a big way Thursday when it reported the Justice Department had wiretapped President Trump's personal